Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Zuda F, a unit from the Blazing Shadow manga, and um, a basic kind of a love child between the original Zeta model and the Gaian or Gan. Um, it was developed after the One Year War, and very very few of these units were made and or deployed mostly due to their cost but in game it's a 400 cost and up ground and space capable general with a ballistic beam and melee or well, ballistic and beam resistance of 15 a melee resistance of 12 a range strength of 30 a melee strength of 25 and a movement speed of 120 pretty good for this level honestly then we have a thrust gauge of 75, which is excellent. And for parts, we have close range of 9, medium of 12, and long range of 7. I'll let you guess what you think this unit does best in, in terms of range. Um, okay, so for armaments, we have the 95mm sniper rifle. It's a slow firing, but very high damaging. And um, it does a heavy stagger. That's when a unit falls to one knee and takes a while to get back up and be able to uh, be under the pilot's control again. But it can equip the giant bazooka or the zaku bazooka, depending on your play style and what you want to do. Uh, the bazookas are better if you want to be zipping in and out and hitting people in melee. The rifle's better if you want to be uh, sniping at people and then running away. Then we got the Heat Hawk Enhanced, because stuff. Then we got the Storm Faust and the Zaku Machine Gun as a sub-weapon, which is pretty on par with most one-year war in terms of damaging, and still is longer range than the GM Sniper Customs Beam Pistol. I'll let you... Let me just consider that for a moment. Of course, uh, it ha can have a one-two punch no matter what its main weapon is, be it the uh, sniper rifle or the bazookas. You can get some decent staggering in there and then you can give people the hawk of justice. For skills, we have emergency evasion system, high performance balancers, high spec M back level 2, forced injector level 2, which is extremely nice, maneuver armor high performance radar, high performance scope, and melee combo controller. What do I think of this unit? It's a bit of a classic at this point, and honestly, it's a really good unit with a flexible enough armament. It's best, in my opinion, as a general hit and run unit. It teams up very, very well with a support, but it can also be really good at just being obnoxious. Um, so I think it's good and it still retains that lovely speed. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic time. And um, this is a bit of a classic unit. I hadn't brought her out in a while and I had a couple good matches, but I thought this one was the, uh, the most well-rounded in uh, use. So I'm going to use it a lot like a hit and run unit to kind of pester uh, the raids and of course the support on the other team. Now this unit's got a great deal of speed for a general and it's quite fun to play once you uh, get the hang of it. You gotta, you gotta be a little deliberate with those shots. So we're gonna switch over to Sniper Rifle. We see the support, we're gonna fire around right in there. We were gonna use the Storm Faust here, but we're gonna decide to push on the support while our guys uh, tie that guy up. So we're gonna drop the Storm Faust into his feet, opening up the, uh, the raid while we get into another Sniper shot. We're gonna throw a few of those shots in there, just to add a little damage in. And we're gonna cover our guy with some shots. And we see the Red Rider and decide to back up a little bit. Switch over to Sniper Rifle, wait for it, and get him in the legs. Wait for him to get knocked down. We're going to fire Storm Faust a little off to the right so we don't take our own guy over. We're going to switch over, take out that support so he can't continue pestering four. And we're going to do our best to help um, 
put a little pressure on uh, the Red Rider. Red Rider's gone now. And uh, that's two frets dealt with right there. Uh, number two is going to get taken out though. So we're going to push up. I'm going to fire that down. We're going to miss, but we see the pixie there. So we take a shot, hit him in the leg. Then we're just going to smack him a little bit with that machine gun because honestly it does enough damage to warrant shooting, shooting at him. Take a shot from behind, move, hit the, uh, the desert zaku in the leg. And we're just going to keep moving and pestering. Uh, fired at our shot. It's better to fire and not miss than to never fire and never hit. Things like that. Put a little pressure on that desert zaku. i move up here to uh, regain some of our high ground. Fire into uh, the Gobaldi Alpha's legs. We're just acting as a pest right now, trying to help out. Uh, number two is overextending himself again. Most of our main weaponry are off, so we're just going to push back a little bit. I could have pushed on the uh, support, but I'm going to just eat up some of his time. I'm going to fire into his shield. And he's uh, shooting at me and not other people at the moment. So we're going to fire again, take out his shield, keep on the, uh, the rifle reloads, and fire hit him. And at this point, I decide I've done enough eating away at his time. I'm going to push up as 4 does the same. Now that I have a, uh, someone to help split his fire and attention, we're just going to put some pressure on him. We're going to load up the storm faust. I'm going to come up and we're going to fire it off to uh, his left a little bit to catch him while he's running. Knock him down. Then we're going to give him the tomahawk and then the tomahawk high five. Unfortunately, people seem to explode after that. It's horrible. Can never give tomahawks a friendship. Anyhow, uh, we're going to be leading off with the uh, Storm Faust a lot. Um, and mostly because the sniper rifle has limited uh, rounds, and I tend to like to have an opener. So we're going to wait for him to come out and then fire hit him in the back. We're just mostly looking to be annoying here more than anything. Fire not hit anybody you see the pixie and we're going to take a try to take a shot at him but he gets me under cover first and then we're going to nope we're not going to get in there we'll throw a couple shots from the uh, zaku machine gun push up but we see a guy over there and there's a guy off to our side so we're going to wait fire hit him there switch over to the zaku machine gun finish him off with that real quick Oh, and it's the support. So what we're going to do is just kneel down here because he's not going to get enough shots and he's going to sit in that support fire for a few minutes. He's going to take a couple hits and we're going to throw a shot in on him. Now he's close to death, but we got a lot of guys down there who would love to do bad things to us. So we're going to back off using the unit speed. This is one of the benefits of it. Now I switched over to Storm Faust in case he tried to come around that corner. I wanted something to fire and forget. You've got to stop for a second with the uh, sniper rifle. So we're going to just push around, switch over to the sniper rifle, check under us, switch back to it, and we're going to take our shot over there. And then we're going to push away. Now we're going to pull both these guys over here trying to kill us. Um, so I'm just going to try to waste their time. I'm not going to be very successful at hitting the uh, pixie because he knows I'm there. And there's our first death. Almost at the three minute mark. Or a little under it. So we're going to drop in here at B. We see our friend the pixie. We're going to switch over to the sniper rifle. Wait for it. And then bam. Right in the legs. Switch over to the storm faust. We're going to come over and we're going to see both these guys get uh, pushed into the corner. So we're just going to help, you know, keep them there. Don't want to make them nervous. Uh, I'm going to uh, unfortunately not be able to finish the Desert Zaku off just yet. The uh, Pixie's gone. We're going to switch over to the Zaku machine gun and he's just going to walk next to us. So we'll just shoot him down. Now we're going to try to take a shot here, but... Invisible wall! Thank you. I was definitely over that, but whatever. We're going to take a shot from the Gabaldi A. We'll just call it that for the moment. It's definitely an Alpha Chad, I'll tell you that. So we're going to help put a little pressure on him at the moment. 
try to open up, open up five to be able to get a shot. Unfortunately, Terrain and uh, Panzerfaust didn't help, or uh, Stormfaust. We'll come in, give him a couple snacks with the good old tomahawk, take a shot right into the pixie's legs, put a little bit more pressure on him, dodge the Red Rider because, no, not even once, catch him with that have to hold our shot and we're going to push over here. I'm going to drag him along this way because the pixie's going to get over aggressive and he's faster and be able to hit him there, get him with a heavy stagger, put him down really quick and then I'm going to switch over, move a little bit to try to throw off his melee attack, hit the red rider in the leg, catch him with melee but not the downswing, push back over using my speed to help me. Missed my shot there. Switch over to uh, the Saku machine gun. Figure out that I can't do the thing I want there. And then move over to the Faust. Come around. He's going to try to commit to an attack. But we're going to fire it just off to his left and take him out. Uh, the blast does help. Hello, Pixie. Want to stand there? He does not, unfortunately. He's going to pick a fight with number 5, which is a bad one. We're going to hold our shot till he's on the ground, fire, take him out, get knocked down. But number 4 is going to come in for a little bit of that nerf bat saving. And uh, we're, we're going to continue on moving. I could have moved over here and got a shot at this guy sooner, but hey, that's how time goes. And sometimes you just got to make sure you don't die. So let's see how we did. Now that is a big gun, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we got top spot on assist and first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.